Hi again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and in this video, you're going to learn how to lower your total alkalinity in your swimming pool using muriatic acid. Now, I like using muriatic acid rather than the dry acid, uh, which is sodium bisulfate. Uh, it keeps the sulfates out of your pool when you use muriatic acid, and that's always good. So, uh, the range for your total alkalinity, or just simply alkalinity is 80 to 100, 120 being the top. Um, sometimes due to, uh, you know, adding new water and backwashing and things like that, splash out, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it can lower your alkalinity. So you want to raise it, keep it between 80 to 100 parts per million. Um, but sometimes you have to lower it because maybe your fill water is, you know, a little high, 150, 200. Uh, or maybe you overdose on the bicarb or something else like that, and um, it you need to lower your alkalinity. So you want to use <clears throat> muriatic acid, and here is the, the numbers that you need. Okay, so go ahead and come up here. So to lower your alkalinity 10 parts per million per 10,000 gallons, you will use 0.8 quarts, almost one quart of muriatic acid, okay? Now, the way that you do this, uh, there's some, you know, there's different schools of thought on the best way to lower the alkalinity, also the pH. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to tell you the way that I did it. I had a pool route in Arizona, uh, 50 about 50 uh, residential and a couple commercial pools, and I was also the pool operator for the YMCA in Oregon. Um, and time was not my friend when I was at the Y, nor when, when I had my pool route, because I had to clean the pool, make the adjustments, make them right the first time, and then go ahead and move on. And the same thing with the Y. You know, I don't have, you know, Three, four, five days to make adjustments. I had to get it done because we had 5,000 swimmers uh, um, a month. The Y was open from 5 to not 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. And also the, the state health department could come in at really any time unannounced and take the uh, uh, test the water. And if it wasn't right, then I had to shut down the pool, make the adjustments, get it right, and then they would come back and retest it and give her okay. So um, it's basically this, I had to be right all the time. And this is the, the, the technique that I used in order to make that happen. Now some people call it the slug method, uh, whatever, you know, it really doesn't matter. I've used it since 1999 and it's always worked. So the way that you lower your total alkalinity uh, in a swimming pool is you turn off the pump motor, water is motionless. You take your acid and uh, there's actually two ways you can do this. One is you can pour the acid in directly into the water in the deep end, making just a small cir circular motion, or you can dilute it in a five gallon bucket. You can just get a five gallon bucket, scoop about a half full of pool water, pour the right amount of acid in there, take a, uh, uh, take a stir stick. I like a PVC pipe. You can get them, you know, a local hardware store, three, four foot long for, you know, two bucks or so. Use that as a stir stick <clears throat> and then uh, take that and pour that directly into the pool as well. Um, so either way works. So regardless, uh, you take the acid at the deepest part of the pool and in a small circular motion, just add the acid. Now, the important thing to understand is that acid uh, is heavier than water, so it will sink to the bottom. So you'll start at the top up here, and you'll just, the acid will slowly start to come down and um, gently settle to the bottom. At this point, you wanna just gently sweep that area, okay? You don't wanna mix it up too much. You just wanna kinda disperse it uh, uh, along the bottom and let it sit, okay? Just allow it to sit for maybe three, four hours, even five hours if you can. You want to make this adjustment uh, in the evening hours, okay? So, 
four, five, six o'clock when you get home from work, go ahead and do it, allow it to sit for you know anywhere from three to five hours, and then turn the pump back on, allow uh, the filter to go for about 10 to 12 hours. This is normally one full turnover of the water. Do not test it after an hour or two, okay? That is a myth. Uh, you want one full turnover of the water, which is around 10 to 12 hours, then you retest it and you make another adjustment. And it's that simple. You know, you make another adjustment if you need it, but it's that simple. If you follow that technique, uh, you will lower your alkalinity without much happening to the pH. Okay, so <clears throat> again, here's, here are the numbers that you need. Um, again, to lower the alkalinity, is to lower the alkalinity 10 parts per million, you, you'll use um, 0.8 quarts per 10,000 gallons. Now, if you have a 20,000 gallon pool, <clears throat> so let's just bump that up to 20,000. If you double the, the gallons, simply double the acid. So if you have a 20,000 gallon pool, if you want to lower 10 parts per million, you'll, you'll use, you know, what, maybe one and a half quarts or so, okay? And let's say you have a 30,000 gallon pool, you just triple that. You have a 40,000 gallon pool, quadruple that. Now let's say if you want to lower your alkalinity 20 parts per million per 10,000 gallons. Well, you just doubled the how, how far you want it to decrease, so simply double the amount. If you want to lower it 30 parts per million per 10,000 gallons, then you just triple that amount. So this right here is your baseline. This right here is your best friend concerning lowering your total alkalinity using muriatic acid. Okay, so go ahead and write this down, um, memorize it, and if you forget it or whatever, feel free to come back to this video. It's always going to be up. Uh, this is your friend on, again, on lowering your total alkalinity. So that is it. It's pretty simple. Uh, just try to keep it between 80 to 100 parts per million, and you'll be good. So, uh, so uh, find the link below uh, to my website. It's cleanpoolandspa.com. Uh, lots of great information on that that's been up since 2008, and uh, I think that's it. So, again, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. So, I am Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and as always, happy swimming and happy safe swimming is the most important thing. Thanks a lot. Bye.